So hello everybody, how are you today? It is still Power Week and this time we're going to talk about the new ribbon that was released on the Power BI desktop update in November. So there are good things about it, there are bad things about it, and there are amazing things about it. So I'm going to tell you all, as always. <laughs> so um, here's the thing. One of the good things about it, it is that it looks like all of its products. And I particularly think that it looks a little bit childish, but just that they are consistent across Office products is a great thing. So well done for sure. Yes, this is the thing that should be done. Um, it behaves more or less like the Office products. A lot of people are coming into Power BI from Excel. So if they recognize themselves and they see the ribbon, they see familiarity is a good thing. Won't take that away for sure. When it comes to bad things, obviously the first one comes to mind, they've moved things around and uh, you and I were going to be irritated about it for the coming month until we actually find where everything is. It's normal, it's change. We have to deal with that. There's nothing we can do about it. But change more often than not comes from the better, so we have to deal with it. So I've been quite irritated about where is, mm? <laughs> but I'll get over it. I will get over it. So that's not a big deal, actually. Another thing is, what is the save button? I normally do control S. I do. And, you know, because I'm used to doing it in other programs that crash often, I do control S, control S, and it works, it works well. Um, but sometimes I, I click the little button, so I've missed it, actually. <laughs> I don't know if you, I, I have still the old version installed. And you can see here, the uh, save button is in here. So that's gone. These ones are there, fine, that's fine. And then they have paste, cut, and copy. I never use that. But I can imagine that they are in the office, so they put it in there. The format painter, I think, is a good thing that is there because there is a thing that is so useful and so easy to miss. So if it is in your face, maybe you get it. So some things about the quick bar. The quick bar, or the, quick, the access, quick access toolbar, I think it was called, um, it's, it's not in the new version anymore. And I know I read on Twitter somebody that said, oh, wait, where is the quick bar? And they said, you, based on our analytics, um, people don't use it. And here's the thing. I love that feature a lot. I did, but I didn't use it. And I'm going to say why. My machine crashes, crashes and burns. At different intervals, sometimes three times a day, sometimes it takes a week before I get a blue screen. But every time I get a blue screen, this the settings of Power BI goes go they go away with the blue screen. I don't know why. So I had to reset the quick access bar every single time and at the end I gave up. Because if it happened once a month, fine, but it happened sometimes multiple times a day. So I'm not going to fix that multiple times a day. And also, because I am teaching Power BI, it is better that I don't click on a button that you don't have, because you're going to think like, okay, where is that button? What did you click now, Ruth, that I don't have? So I realized that, okay, maybe it's a good thing for me not to have it anyway. But it was a good thing, and if your machine is not crashing, I would have used it. But they have usage of these. And um, that means they know better. They have the data. So what can we say, right? Why do they have the data? There is here on File, Options and Settings and Options. A, I'm guessing, I don't know. A usage data. And if you have this clicked, it will send the usage data. I don't know how often you should go here and click if you are curious, but that will get, that gave them information to actually make the product better. So it's good. Anyhow, uh, let's continue. Now, 
while I was mourning the quick access bar that I never use, I know, I know, if you do like these, guess what? You get a quick access bar and this one is not going to crash and disappear on me. So I was really happy about that. I'm not so happy that, you know, they selected to put text on some of them, especially more visuals. What would you use, use real estate for more visuals? New measure. I know what the new measure button looks like. They've changed it. Oh, I love this. They've changed in the um, icon. You don't see it there. You see it here. So you have new measure. You see, I always, I, I sent this complaint actually a long time ago. Because if you go here to modeling, they look almost the same. And now with the new look, I think it is easier. You have the measure and then you have maybe because the, the buttons are bigger. And then you have here new column in blue. Here you couldn't see anything. And then the new table is just a plus table like in Excel. So I like that. I thought it was great. Another thing that I like is that there is no, co no column, no custom column here. And I think this is a good thing because you should be creating measures, not custom columns. So if you're going to do a custom column, you should go to modeling. You're being punished by going to call. So good. Then when you minimize, you get published to web, which is good. I don't think the word publish should be there. I would have used that. And you know, when you hover, you get the tilt, top tip, tool tip. So you can read what it is. You don't need the text. I, I would have removed it. It would take us maybe a week for us to get used to the new. So, but for now it is what it is. And they put text and remove things. And what they've chosen to have in here, that's what I'm less happy about. So get data for sure. And then suddenly you have, I, I can imagine that these are the, no, these are not the most common. Excel is probably the most common. SQL, I can imagine, is fairly common. I know web is very, very common. They've put the Microsoft services in here. No need, no need for that. They are in here. They are beautiful stacked. Okay with the Excel. The other ones got to go, in my opinion. They are just taking real state that is not needed. Then we have... Manage and connect to recent sources. Never use that. We have enter data. Great. And then we have Power Query Editor. This I would have liked with text because that, that, that you don't want to miss. But anyhow, refresh. Everybody knows how a refresh button looks. You don't need the text. I've never, ever, ever created a visual from here. Have you? Again, they have usage data, so they know better than me. But I'm surprised that new visual and more visuals are in there. I would have put text button image. Visuals, you have these. Why would you go? <laughs> I don't know. And the marketplace, I've never go here from the marketplace. I always go in here and then from marketplace. Now, switch themes. I haven't found that button anywhere in the new ribbon. I haven't. I clicked everywhere haven't found it. And one of the things with the new ribbon is that buttons will appear depending on what you're trying to do. So if what you're trying to do, you haven't, for example, if you're going to change the column uh, decimal numbers and you haven't selected the column, it won't appear. Well, in the old one, you had it there, but it was grayed out. And this is a taste thing. I don't know which one I like best. The thing is that it was there and it was grayed out. You knew that you could do it. Now you don't know what you can do until you actually click on a column. So if I click on here, you see table tools and column tools show up. Table tools and column tools. So I don't know what I feel about that. But it's the way the Excel office works. So I, they had to do it. So I'm fine. This I recognize from Excel, change the table, table name. Great. Uh, where is, <laughs> where is the theme stuff? I don't know. 
Anyhow, insert, you have the stuff there. Uh, here you have the buttons, I missed the buttons in the beginning. You have uh, the shapes that are not there, the image that is not there. These I should put in the first page. Uh, the modeling tab should be there, that's fine. And then the view tab you have. Oh, there they are. Holy smoly, they were big. <laughs> I found them. I haven't used this version that much yet, as you can see. Oh, it's a desk like Excel. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously. I found them. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> and then you have a page view, phone layout, and then this is the, the tick box that they were everywhere. They have icons for it. Love it. It looks great. So, good and bad. Okay, now. So let's move now to the amazing things of the new ribbon. The first one is that the ribbon won't freeze anymore. I don't know if you had that problem, but you know, sometimes when you just load the data or do something, this thing will freeze and then you will have to min minimize, maximize or tab to another program just to bring it back to life. This should not happen anymore. So I haven't used it that much yet this version, so I, I don't know, but I'm guessing that if they say it is working now. So that is great. Another thing that I've noticed is that before when you wanted to copy a measure, you, you know, you go here and you do like that. If you drop it at the end, you get this light blue and then you cannot copy anymore. I have no idea why this is there. Noise me to death. So if you just stop it there, you know, you don't go outside and then you stop it there. I think it, for me, it just works a little bit better. Now, it's not like I always got a blue one. I don't get the blue, the light blue that often when I'm copying it, but I still, I think I, this is something that needs to be resolved. And it is still there. You know, when I was trying, I was copying a little bit more careful. It didn't help, you, you see? Why? What is that light blue for? I don't understand it. So you have to stop there and then it will, you get the dark blue. And another thing I have to test more, I'm, I'm working a lot with report server. I haven't had the time to, to test these for, uh, for real. Is, you know, that this thing grows, even if you have just one line, it just boom, expands everything. And then to get it out, you have to like, oh, is it still the same? You know, sometimes before, if you could click exactly under, it will collapse and it looks like it's the same still. If you click just under, exactly under. <laughs> no. So obviously you can go in here, but you know, when you are working fast and we need to copy measures, we need to copy measures. What is that? That should be number one in the ideas list. Maybe it is. I, don't know, <laughs> but it is actually great. I think it, I would love for improvements on the DAX editor. Um, otherwise, I'll grow. It will grow on me. It will grow on you also. Uh, don't worry about that. Great that it doesn't freeze. Last thing, if you go to transform data, Power Query still looks the old way. I don't know if there are any plans to fix it to also the office version or if it's going to stay like this. We'll see. Time will tell, right? So now Microsoft is looking for feedback on the new ribbon. If there is something that bugs you or some order of the buttons or you would like other buttons or whatever it is that you like, go nuts. Do it now. It is you know, they're working on it. So this is the time to do it, to raise your voice and say what you want and what you think and what you like and what you don't like. Okay. So this is all for today. My God, a long video for just a new ribbon, but I, yeah, I hope you enjoy it anyway. So this is all for today. I see you again, probably tomorrow until this power week is over and I just got started for November. Take care and bye-bye.